Hi everybody, welcome back to the shop. As uh, we last led off, our intrepid gunsmith was attempting to uh, do the double barrel. So um, uh, I've got some update videos. We're gonna do the next next step on this thing. So uh, follow me along and let's go take a look. So we had uh, left off on the mechanics. I have everything in a uh, Eureka fluid film. This is a lanolin based uh, rust and uh, corrosion prevention spray on. So I have the barrel out. I did a little bit of testing on the barrel to see uh, how easy it is to gonna be pull this off. And you can come right in here and you can see that Damascus that is in still pretty good condition. The overall barrel checks out. The bores are really good, but we've got one nick right at the tip here so that's gonna need some looking after a little tiny one there but nothing that is uh, beyond irreparable I've done a scraping on the stock we're pulling that old finish off we're gonna completely reset this thing I don't care about what's already on it we're gonna steam try and steam some of these gouges out anything that's dense can come out but cuts cuts to the fiber can't be brushed out but things that are have impacted it or hit it you can actually swell up the lignin in that wood fiber and somewhat after a few attempts try to bring this back to a good smooth finish um, no real breakouts this thing looks pretty good for being as old as it is a little bit here and there we're gonna pull all this oil out we're gonna soak this in some acetone get all this oil out all this discoloration is just machine oil so we're going to work through all of this again little bit of little bits here and there that we can try and work out the same with the forend the forend looks pretty good just gonna soak it get all that oil out we'll try and restore some of that checkering i don't have a checkering file but uh i've got a few things that'll work in lieu of but we're gonna go from Wood is still going to be a little ways away. We're going to go into more of the mechanics. So in a little bit, I'm going to start pulling this off together. And we're going to go through and check the integrity of all of these. So a little bit more to do. Multi-step process, yeah. But as good as it is, this will be pretty easy. Pretty good. No springs broken as I have yet to... Uh, find but this will clean easy and then we'll go through and do these so so we've got the uh, receiver most of these parts were case hardened back in the day can okay, a little bit of rust I just sprayed off that uh, rust film all the everything the side plates everything else all numbers matching to the best of my knowledge but we're gonna go through and we're gonna just take off all this rust. It's mostly cosmetic, all this gack will come off pretty easy. No appreciable finish left on it, but we're gonna take care of what we can visibly, fix any edges, clean any insides. These springs will probably stay. I really don't wanna pull these out if I don't have to but we will work around it and if it comes to it we will but side plates are also pretty good and the feathers there are some there's one part missing see there's some of the slime that's left uh, there is a loaded chamber indicator so there are two studs on either side that would pop out to indicate that that side of the hammer, that side of the chamber is cocked. These that kind of actuate off of a sear that's in the back end here. So these are what give the notation that this barrel is still cocked. And this one over here is missing. So we may have to make a new part for that, but that's all doable. So easily if we need to but you can see some of the case hardening is still on here which is good it's a good sign that the steel is still viable again numbers so it's looking good so far but 
We've got a little bit of everything else in here. Here's the fore end. Here's the fore end locking. More case hardening. More numbers matching. So we're going to go through this pile of huh and uh, go through it and eventually turn this and that and that and that and that back into a gun. One thing I can't stress enough is when you have old fasteners such as that are all hourglassed out is to not the first thing most people want to do is just take a file and run these burrs out is the metals there we don't need to remove any we can keep what we have and just move it back into place so you can just take a hammer a little ball peen hammer some of this down you can take a punch you can take a punch and get in there and move some of this back into place and square these off so you get rid of that hourglass one thing to do when you're pulling screws out is to use a screwdriver that's the exact diameter of these because if it's undersized it'll just start hourglassing in and if it's oversized it will catch on the adjoining surfaces and just blow these corners out more so I'm gonna add a picture in as best as I can we're gonna take it from this to looking a little bit better with just a few minutes of work and we won't have to take a file to it because the metals there for a reason and we don't want to remove it now that we have that polished down fixed up we'll just run it over some scotch bright real fast and it cleans that screw up nicely to the point that we really don't have to mess with it it'll work it'll get reblued thrown back into the side plates with everything else and we haven't taken a file to it so best way to do it because these the 24-hour Lefevre side plate market is not open anymore so these things are uh, a bit rare to come by so we want to keep them as long as we can so it will get it added to each one each one will get a treatment of it we'll move these triggers back these tr hammers back into place do the rest of the screws reset the springs and go from there here's another one that's a good example all kind of gacked up just somebody got in there a little aggressive with it so we're going to take the hammer and the punch back to it and uh we'll see what it looks like afterwards so it's pretty it's not pretty but it'll work like i say we don't have to remove any material but it adds as much structure to it as we can so we're going to drive that back in there and she'll stay there as long as she's uh as long as she's in my custody but we're going to clean up these side plates get them all looking nice and pretty and then they'll uh, go back together one by one well we're going to get those back together little tidbits of information you could take with you if you want but uh, we're going to get those side plates put together and keep on working down the line bit by bit get this boy back to put together maybe by springtime we'll be able to take her out shoot her Anyways, you guys have a good night. Peace.